Shoulder joint reductions today. Alex has got a dislocated right shoulder and we're going to do the Cunningham technique first. Sit down on the chair that's the same height as your patient and just reassure your patient, I'm just going to take your arm and if you put your arm on my shoulder and we're going to get in quite close and I'm just going to rest the weight of my wrist on his forearm. What you need to do if you can Alex is just sit up as straight as possible, shoulders back and often that will reduce the, the shoulder. Just relax the muscles. So when talking to your patient, reassuring, just gonna massage the, um, the muscles. So we're gonna, and a bit of reassurance, a little bit of, just a little bit of weight. And this will relax the muscles and over a period of time, the shoulder will just slip back. There it goes, it's back, okay. Cunningham technique. Sit opposite the patient with their hand on your shoulder and yours on their forearm. Both sit up straight with your shoulders back. Massage their trapezius, deltoid and biceps to relax the muscles. The shoulder will relocate. Let's try the, the spazzo technique, which is a, a useful technique again for uh, a, a relatively cooperative patient. And with this one, leave the arm in the position it's in. Um, just gently elevate the arm, rotate, and usually it'll pick back in the face. So you might need to put a little bit of pressure over the, the head of the, um, the humerus, but that's enough, often enough to reduce it. Spazo technique. Have the patient supine. Slowly elevate their arm to 90 degrees then externally rotate and lift gently. Apply pressure on the humeral head if required. The shoulder reduces. The Milch technique, similar to the spasm, but we do it slightly differently. So, so again, comfortable patient. Now we gently just abduct the arm. Out to 90 degrees. Externally rotate at this point. And then just come up to about 120 degrees. And often it will reduce at this point. And then you can just roll it back over and then drop it. And that's back in. For the milch technique, have the patient supine or semi upright. Slowly abduct the arm out to 90 degrees. Externally rotate and continue abduction. The shoulder typically reduces around 120 degrees. The, the Faris technique is a, a variation of, of milch and it's very similar um, but in this we just gently up and down to an arc of 30 degrees as we come out just to find the right position where she's going to slip back in again get to about 90 degrees and externally rotate and she should slip back in again the Faris technique, or the fast, reliable and safe technique, have the patient supine or semi-upright, slowly abduct the arm. As you do so, oscillate the limb up and down. Externally rotate at 90 degrees and continue until 120 degrees where the limb should reduce. So, the Cocker's technique, um, bend at the elbow, externally rotate, Often it'll reduce at this point. Flex. Roll back up. Cockers. Cockers technique. Have the patient semi upright. Flex the elbow to 90 degrees. Externally rotate until some resistance is felt, usually around 80 degrees. Elevate the arm as far as possible. Then internally rotate and the shoulder is reduced. There's a couple of prone techniques. Um, Alex's uh, left shoulder is dislocated. Um, you lay right on your front, Alex. And what we can do is just let the arm hang down and do a scapular manipulation. So you find the angle of the scapula, inferior border of the scapula, and what you're going to do is, while someone's pulling on the arm, rotate the scapula medially 
to click it back into place. Scapular manipulation. To have the patient prone with the arm hanging down, an assistant provides traction. Place your thumbs on the infralateral border of the scapula and rotate the scapula medially with gentle pressure. The other variation of this is um, have the patient lie in front, have the arm hanging down and put a weight on the arm. So like a bag of saline or a, um, an orthopedic weight tied around the wrist and just let it hang um, for uh, 10, 15 minutes. And often with a relaxed patient, it'll reduce spontaneously. And that's called the Stimson technique. Thank you.